Suddenly, loads of stormtroopers headed by Captain Phasma, General Hux, and Kylo Ren burst into the reception area, much to the surprise of Strike, Robin, and John Smith. Oh, great. More people that I have to deal with. Silence, fool, whoever you are. I'm Kylo Ren, and I am your superior. What a dickhead. Silence, woman! Kylo Ren force chokes Robin. Let her go, you cruel man. Kylo Ren releases his grip on Robin's throat. Robin starts choking. <coughs> Are you okay, Robin? I'll be fine, don't worry. It's nothing compared to you getting your leg blown off. Well, if you say so. Sir, some of the stormtroopers have been dispatched into the city to deal with the zombies. Myself and Captain Phasma gave that order. But the rest of the stormtroopers will remain here to aid in your assault on this facility. I should expect nothing less, General. And Supreme Leader Snake will, will expect nothing less either. The reason that myself and Captain Phasma gave that order was the fact that we believe the city that the zombies have entered is a major city called New York on this planet Earth. In order to take control of this entire planet, taking control of its major cities is step one. Yes, well, I'm not sure why we've got to take over this facility, first of all, but the Supreme Leader seems to think that there's, that there's something weird about this facility that's not of this world. So, uh, that's why we have to investigate. Because it could be technology that could aid us. It, it, it could be located within this facility. Oh, I'm usually the one who does the investigating. I'm here to investigate um the murder of the ex-owner, Pascal Sauvage. Oh, you mean he was one of the people who used to own this facility, is that right? Well... He thought he owned it, but it turns out that Derek Browning owned it after all. I don't know who any of these people are. I don't even know who you are. My name is Cormoran Strike. I'm a private investigator. I don't give a shit. You're going to act as my hostages, all three of you. I'm sorry, what did you say your name was again? Kylo Ren. I'm an enforcer of the First Order. Yes, well, I don't associate myself with these two people here. So, um, my name is John Smith. I serve the Nazi Reich. I would be willing to lend any assistance I can to your efforts. 
because at the moment, this guy called Atlas has got a hold over me, and he's threatening to kill me and my family. So if you could take him out of the equation, then that would be massively helpful. I mean... Really, my loyalty is to the Fiera, but I guess I could make an exception with you, because you're more favourable than Atlas. Well, you don't have a choice, mate. You're going to serve me or die. But these other two people, they're going to act as my hostages. So, where is this Atlas guy, anyway? Oh, he's down in the basement. But you have to be very careful, because he's got a machine down there that can basically bring through, like, any being from any dimension and any time in... And, and, and any place in space. This must be the technology that the Supreme Leader was going on about. Yes, well, that is the machine that the zombies were pouring out of. You've just aided my investigation, Mr. John Smith. Yes, well, you won't be investigating fuck all else. Now, let's just go down to the bloody basement right now. General, uh, keep an eye on these hostages. Keep them in the reception area. I'll take the captain, John, and some stormtroopers down to the basement. Yes, sir. And with that, Kylo Ren, Captain Phasma, John Smith, and the Stormtroopers <clears throat> all head down to the basement. And Kylo Ren confronts Atlas. Who the fuck are you? No, I'm only joking. I know who you are. You're Kylo Ren. How the fuck do you know who I am? I didn't even know who you were until a few seconds ago when that John Smith guy told me. Yes. It's time to take you out of the equation, Atlas. Oh, John, you're such a fool. I expected your betrayal ages ago. You've taken this long to betray me. I'm rather insulted. But I guess you had to make sure you had to use really violent people in order to get one over on me. But you couldn't use the zombies because they're out of control. But then again, I guess Kylo Ren is out of control as well. Fuck you! I'm not a fucking mindless beast like those zombies! They're mindless beasts, those fucking zombies are. Captain, take Atlas into custody immediately. But don't shoot. And that goes for you as well, troopers. Because... <clears throat> If you shoot, you'll damage the machine, and we need to take the machine back to the to the Supreme Leader. Yes, that's a very good idea, Kylo. Maybe whoever the new Fiora ends up being will be able to use it. Because, unfortunately, Hitler's dead. Your Führer will not be using it. Only Supreme Leader Snape will be able to use it. And, well, maybe me as well. Enough. One step closer. I activate the machine. Loads of zombies and other shitty beings pour out of it. Well, I guess I'll just have to take that risk, then. Captain, attack! 
What are you going on about, sir? How can I attack? You said that me and the troopers aren't allowed to open fire. You fucking mully attack. Suddenly, Captain Phasma manages to overpower Atlas, and uh, she takes him into custody and puts some cuffs on him. Kylo did leave some stormtroopers in the reception area to look after the hostages, and obviously General Hux is still in the reception as well. Suddenly, Cormoran Strike takes a stink bomb out of his pocket and throws it down onto the floor. And General Hux and the Stormtroopers can't cope with the smell. And whilst they are distracted by the smell, Cormoran and Robin manage to escape the reception area. And they get in the lift and go up to the top floor. And they... And they, they walk over to the, the office, which used to belong to Patrick Blake, and they enter the office. And then Robin starts going through the filing cabinets in the office. Found anything yet that might be useful? I've only just started, Cormoran. Give me a chance. Cormoran searches the desk, but he doesn't find anything particularly useful. So he manages to find the red button underneath the desk, and he presses it so that the bookcase slides back. Hmm, what do you know? A secret room. Let's go in. Both Cormoran and Robin enter the secret room. And inside, they find loads of files about the revival machines, and about the fact that um, Pascal Sauvage was murdered by Malavai Quinn. Oh my god. We found the murderer, Robin. He's a person called Malavai Quinn. It's been covered up. And it looks like it was covered up by Derek Browning. If we can find Derek Browning, this is evidence enough to arrest him. Question is, did uh, Patrick Blake know about this secret room and this evidence? If so, then he's clearly perverting the course of justice, so we could arrest him as well if we can actually find him. That's a very good point, actually. Like, we haven't even encountered, like, the current owner, Patrick Blake, yet. You would expect him to be in his office, wouldn't you? Yeah, this is all very weird, Cormoran. I mean, why was that... John Smith guy wearing a Nazi uniform. And I swear he said something about his Führer, meaning Adolf Hitler. Well, it could he could be part of a new Nazi movement, so he could be like talking about a new Führer, maybe. Like, I, I don't know, maybe the Nazis are trying to take over this facility. But that wasn't even the weirdest thing. The weirdest thing was the fact that those fictional characters from Star Wars just, like, came out of nowhere. Well, they can't be fictional, because we just saw them with our own eyes. They could just be really good cosplayers. But wait, I found something else. There's another file here. It says that Derek Rannan wasn't the boss of Oscorp after all. It was Adam Buck. 